This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. What's going on everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here and it's time to talk everyone's favorite technology company, Tesla. We are on the verge of seeing their Model 3. It's been rumored for years, it's been tweeted about by executives for a very long time, but the day of reckoning is almost upon us when we learn what the Model 3 is going to be about. So let me tell you everything that we know, and this is not based on conjecture, this is facts from either the CTO or the CEO's mouth. So the big deal about the Model 3, things to know, it's Tesla's more affordable car. $35,000 before incentives, depending on what state you live on, obviously full electric with a range of 200 miles. So this is a mass market car meant for everybody. Depending on what state you live in, you could have almost $10,000 taken off that price. So you could get in the car for as low as $25,000. From a size standpoint, Elon Musk described it as a competitor to the 3 Series and more recently described it as a competitor to the Audi A4, so a smaller sedan. So it'll take cubes from the Model S and the Model X, which you've seen the two of those look very different. And speaking of the Model S and the Model X, the Model 3 wasn't always called the Model 3. It was initially gonna be called the Model E, but Ford owned the patents. And I think Tesla also didn't want a Model S, a Model E, and a Model X. A lot of people do say they're a sexy company. So about the technology that's going into the car. This week, CTO JB Straubel said it's going to feature the next generation technology from Tesla. Whether that means battery technology, next generation autopilot, or supercharging technology, we don't know. Uh, Tesla's been one of the early pioneers in getting it to market uh, of self-driving technology. It's as close to autonomous as we can get. Their autopilot, if you haven't tried it or seen it, is ridiculously awesome. They had to tone it down so much, people were just kind of falling asleep in the car or just taking videos of their car driving themselves. Uh, obviously though, with the lesser priced car, some of that technology might not make it. A few things we don't know, if supercharging is gonna be enabled, Tesla currently has their own proprietary supercharging technology that charges their car super fast. Essentially, you get 80% charge on about an 85 to 90 kilowatt hour battery in 20 minutes. So talking about a kilowatt hour battery on a smaller pack, it's probably gonna be in the 45 to 50 uh, kilowatt hour range. You can charge that whole thing up uh, in probably less than it take you to run into the bathroom, do your business, clean yourself up, and come back out to the car. The question I had though is how can Tesla, essentially a small startup from Silicon Valley, do what other car manufacturers haven't been able to do yet? Uh, General Motors has the Bolt with the B, not a, not a V, uh, coming out relatively soon, which has that same 200 mile range. Uh, and she looks, and does look to be a pretty competitive car. Well, the Model S is different though, is Tesla's backing. The supercharging technology behind it. Uh, and Tesla's building their own, what they're calling Gigafactory, to get the cost per kilowatt of lithium ion battery down. It's how this car is going to be able to come to market uh, at such a low price. A company like GM can afford to take a loss on the car, can build the Bolt at a lesser price than they can sell it for. Tesla can't take that risk. So presumably each car will come uh, at a profit for the company. So we should see the car sometime this month, March 2016, but Elon Musk has even said that maybe we won't see the entire car, maybe we'll just show the butt end, or maybe we'll just show the front end. We'll see something come in March, as well as information on pre-ordering this thing, which is due to hit the roads towards the end of 2017. But Tesla's history of delays with the Model X is any indication, probably wouldn't hold your breath until 2018 or, or even 2019. And what do you guys think about the Model 3? Are you excited? Are you waiting for this car? It's sort of a more affordable car for the mass market. What are your thoughts on it? Leave in the comments located where my gentleman parts are. I'll see you guys next video. We spent the whole video talking about cool tech that's coming out. What about some cool tech you can make? The folks at Full Sail University have you covered. If you've been thinking about a new career, Full Sail has an undergraduate degree for you. If maybe you want to get into creating mobile applications, you got the idea for the next Snapchat, Instagram, or Facebook. Undergraduate degree program for you. Find a new career, find a way to better your career already in. Go to fullsail.edu slash technobuffalo to learn more.